or sound better. Hi there guys, this is Red Hat Roman from AA Production. In this tutorial I would like to show you some uh, really cool but effective um, techniques of uh, adjusting uh, wave shape of your kicks or changing wave shape and changing the overall sound because um, sometimes you just need you just need to have a really custom kick that will fit your track the best and uh, sometimes you also just don't want to uh, use uh, samples from sample packs as they as they are you know as they as they lay so uh, this way you can uh, change them pretty easily and uh, it's also not usually but sometimes it's, it's pretty cool and uh, I'm, I'm using this technique quite a lot so um, the technique is called <laughs> pogo I'm not sure how much you use this knob but uh, you know I've, I, I I knew about this knob but I started using it like a few months ago and I really like it you know I, I'm I'm using these in and out knobs a lot but this pogo knob it really made me it really made me nervous all the time but it's not that bad actually it's pretty pretty useful so um, here I have some kicks from uh, dubstep amo the pack by double production and also uh, these two kicks and this one are from EDM hybrid what about EDM hybrid trap 2 also by double production and you know just check out these kicks for example in this kick you can clearly clearly hear uh, the hi-hat layered with it the symbol by playing with pogo you can nearly you know the the, the symbol nearly disappeared which is just, which is just cool it made the it made the uh, kick a bit softer, but also uh, it made it made attack uh, different, which is uh, what, what, I, what I'm usually looking for to really uh, get rid of, rid of the uh, symbol. You cannot do it do that by uh, by equalizer because that way you will also lose the the click, you know, the actual click from the kick. So let's try the other way. It sounds like it like it's it's changing pitch. I think it's just uh, just putting the wave shapes together. Somehow it squeezes it's, it squeezes it. So, uh, but it, it but it's really cool technique. And sometimes when you are not able to uh, find the right kick to your track, whatever you are doing, it still sounds lame and shitty. You can just play with Pogo. And uh, it works pretty well on all trap and dubstep uh, genres. So uh, yeah, let's try that. You know, the other thing I wanted to show you is uh, obviously layering because uh, that's, that's just something uh, I wanted to uh, share with you. So let's put a f which one? Let's put this kick to uh, which has uh, which has quite a quite a poor attack for for let's say dubstep genre. But but a good edit for trap for trap. But let's say I want to use it for dubstep and let's let's put this other this other uh, kick to the second channel and let's say this kick doesn't have a uh, good body. So we have kick with nice attack and and poor body, and we have kick with uh, poor attack and nice body. What we will do is that we will layer them together and. Uh, you can do it the following way. As you can see, I already uh, wrote the first one to the to the first channel, the other one to the to the second channel, and I will wrote these two uh, channels to. Oh, what I just did, Dame. Sorry. Okay, first one, second one. My fault. So, what I will do is that I will. Uh, Okay, like this. I will road these two channels to the third channel only and I will create a group bus channel like this. 
can see that both of, both of them are rotated to the channel level number three. So uh, let's check out how they sound together. Uh, very powerful. Maybe too much. So um, what I wanted to do is uh, is that I wanted to uh, you know, I will make this one shorter because we are looking for the ethic mainly, and I will uh, change this deck clicking mode to generic, and uh, I will not the first one. I will take out the attack like this. As you can see, it automatically uh, created this this nice volume envelope. And uh, let's let's check how it sounds now. Sounds pretty cool. What I, what I can also do is to equal equalize them a bit. It sounds awesome. And now it would be good to apply a, comp a compressor uh, on the on the bus channel. Uh, I, will, I will I will do it with uh, as a cell compressor by waves. So um yeah here we go we have the ssl compressor which is actually uh bus compressors as you can see so this way you can uh, you can really glue those sounds together so uh, this way you can layer sounds if you, if you if you don't want just pogo it or whatever and uh, the other way you can also use is to cut off low frequencies from one cut off high frequencies from the other and layer them uh, layer them together but uh, this is just something uh, I think uh, sounds pretty cool but you can do more uh, you can see that these uh, these uh, these envelopes are shorter and shorter or longer and longer depending on what uh, what option you choose. And what you can also even do is to let's let's pick this one. Let's pick this smooth. You can even do is to uh, play with envelope like this. But that is up to you and up to your ears. So um, here are just two uh, quick. Yeah, quite quick. <laughs> here are here are two quick tips of how to make how to how you can uh, work with your kicks and make them special and unused. You know, make them like real. Uh, make them your own. So thank you for watching and uh, yeah, I think we will provide you this FLP for free, but we will delete the unused kicks. I guess. <laughs> you will find the download link in the description and uh, have a nice day and take care. Bye.